Hey guys, Nathan here, and welcome back to another video. Today I have another ridiculous Lego haul that probably shouldn't have happened. Um, I got a haircut, so my haircut, my hair, my hair is short and looks weird, but that's fine. Uh, so I have a small order from Bricklink. I have an order from Lego, and then I have one, two, three, four, um, eight packages. <laughs> eight packages from eBay. So I'm gonna start with the Bricklink and then I'm gonna go to the Lego and then Lego shop at home and then I'm gonna go through the um, eBay. So this should be the parts for my boat. I mentioned in the last video I asked, I sent a message to the guy that sent me this Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. I built it, it was missing one piece which is a one by four Technic brick with the pins in the middle. Sent him a metal, uh, my metal. What? Sent him a message. He found the exact piece um, in one of the bins or bags that he had that stored in. He sent it. He said he was sending it in the mail, and that was probably two weeks ago. And I haven't gotten anything yet, so we're gonna see what happens with that. I'll try to be careful with this. In the last video, I thought I had a. I thought I had a. Um. I, don't even know. I thought I had pieces and I actually had a poly bag and I almost tore it. So this is from A1 Brickmate in Kentucky. Uh, these are the parts I need for the boat, uh, the city boat. So yeah. Oh man, I tore the bag. Not nothing too special here. They are used, but they are um, in good condition. This one looks a little yellowed, uh, but that just must be the light. Yeah, that's all good. So. Yeah, I think I got all the parts I needed for the city boat. It was just a small little set that was in my collection. And I don't know how I lost the pieces because I never... I don't know. I don't know how I lost the pieces. But those pieces are for the... I think it's called the city speedboat. Uh, but yeah, those are the parts for that. So now, I said like five videos ago, I'm done with buying parts. I'm not. Because I'm buying some of these sets used, they are missing pieces. The Freako Speeder broke pieces. The Santa Kins Jedi Starfighter is missing one piece. Sometimes that just happens with eBay. Um, my camera's a little crooked. But sometimes that just happens. If you buy a set used, there's a chance you're going to miss pieces. Uh, and I notice these two and the little Charlie Carter down here. I, built, I finished building the um, Boutique Hotel. It's actually upstairs on the kitchen table. It was storming pretty good the other night, and it was kind of nice sitting upstairs building. I had it down here. I moved it upstairs and built while it stormed, which was kind of nice and pretty relaxing. So I recommend building Lego during a thunderstorm because it's it's pretty nice. But those are those parts. Uh, we're going to do Lego first. It's just one item, and this was from when the promotional was going on for um, the Horseman Hideout. And I was kind of going back and forth on whether i wanted to get this set or not so the promotion for the i still have it down here this poly bag must have ended because this is the only thing that came with was another horseman's hideout which is i'm okay with which is i'm which i'm okay with i just wanted two of these if i wanted to potentially build one or not i think i might just keep most of them sealed both of them sealed it's crazy to see that this promotional just ended and this is already going for like sixty dollars on ebay which is stupid but the city, the set that you can now see that I was going back and forth on, uh, and I was going back and forth particularly, wow, this box got dented, that's fine. Particularly because I don't think I've watched a, um, I don't think I've watched a Transformer movie all the way through. I watched Bumblebee, most of it, which came out a couple years ago with, uh, who's the, not The Rock, the other dude. I can't, th I'm blanking on names. Um, Haley Steinfeld, and then, I can't think of the main bad guy. He works for like the CIA or the government or something. I thought it was The Rock, but it's somebody else. Uh, that was a good movie. I watched a good portion of that. It was on TV not long, too long ago, but uh, Bumblebee was a good movie, kind of like a backstory on Bumblebee and the Transformers, which is, I think was really cool. So this is the Optimus Prime uh, 10302, 1,508 pieces. I don't know if I'm going to build this or not, but I wanted to get it just to get another promotional, and I heard it might be selling out because people are buying it left and right. So I got Optimus Prime just to get that promotional mostly. Um, and I'll start with eBay. Uh, one, two, seven. I think I said seven before. I don't know if I said eight. Um, 
Basically, when I said I'm going to stop on eBay, I didn't. I went back on eBay and I found a whole bunch of stuff. And I have a lot more coming and I decided to split this up. If I waited about three or four more days, um, I'd have about 15 more packages to do. So I'd have like a 20-some package opening. But I decided to do some separate videos because I have a lot coming and a lot of it I want to pay more attention to than other stuff. And I kind of don't want to drown a video out. I don't want to drown a big long video out with me talking for an extended period of time, which I already do enough of. And if I get hung up on one cool thing in a video that's already going to be 25 minutes long and talk for 20 minutes just on one set, I'm going to have like a 40 minute video. This is packaged very weird, so I don't know what this is. Unless they just package this set. And I guess they just, I mean, this is good pack. I'm I love how people package stuff. I had a very bad first experience when I bought the Desert Skiff from like 2000 to 2001. And then since then, oh, <clears throat> okay. So this is the TIE Interceptor uh, Micro Fighter. Yeah, box is kind of beat. This box is really shiny. I said that weird. Yeah, box is kind of beat up, but I don't mind. It's sealed. Uh, 75031, another TIE, another TIE. Another micro fighter I was missing out on, and one on the back here, this Star Destroyer. I was so focused on watching the Stranger Things finale, I got a notification sending, saying that this there was a bid for the Star Destroyer micro fighter ending in 10 minutes. I opened it, I looked at it, I shut my phone back off, I got so invested in the show, I watched it till the end, and I forgot about the listing. So I missed out on the Star Destroyer. Some of these go for a lot, like the other one here, the, like the clone turbo tank, that one goes for like 40 bucks on eBay, which some of these micro fighters are just like insane because I thought that clone comes in a lot of sets, but for some reason the micro fighter is extremely expensive. I don't think any micro fighter has an exclusive minifigure from that, from what I know. I mean, they all look like minifigures that appear in other sets, but maybe I'm wrong. So that's the uh, TIE Interceptor. Uh, let me go smallest to biggest. That was probably the smallest one. And I didn't know what that was going to be. I thought that might be a micro planet. Which I just realized thinking now I just missed out on a micro planet on eBay as well. I track a lot of stuff. And yeah. I track a lot of packages. And by the time this video uploads, hopefully I'm not an idiot and I don't upload these videos in the wrong order. But hopefully the bidding for the Imperial Shuttle ended. I know I checked last night and it was up to 675 I think. Dude, people are throwing me... Oh, this is a good one. People are throwing me off. This one was Walmart bags in an envelope. Um, can you tell what that is? Oh, that is really good condition. So these are some... This is one of the sets in a list of sets that I said I wanted to own by the end of 2022. And this is the... I don't even know if there's a name for it. It's like a character pack. Uh, it has Luke, Han Solo, and Boba Fett. Um, 3341. There's not really a name for it. Shows the other ones too. There were some for City, Rock Raiders, and Ninja. Uh, this came out in 2000. And I think I just saw one. I might have to check that listing, but there's another one of these. This one was, I'll be, I think this was 110. People are thinking, holy crap. I'll be honest, I don't know why these are so expensive as well, because it's kind of like the Micro Fighters, where I didn't think any of these minifigures are exclusive. I mean, I I don't know if I have the... I know I have a version of Han like this and Luke, but I don't know if I have Boba Fett, and I don't know if it's the Boba Fett that makes it so expensive. But it also does come with little display stands. There's one of... I think it's Chewbacca and some Stormtroopers is the one that I'm looking at right now. Yeah, I'm looking right at it. Scout Troopers. One of them is just three battle droids. And then the other one is Palpatine, Vader, and Maul. So, like, the three main Sith. So, uh, this is 30 or 3341. Also, it has, like, little... They're almost like little trading cards. They have pictures of them from the movies on them and some information about them, which is really cool. So, maybe that's what makes them more. But I'm not quite sure. I thought... Like, for sure, I looked at the one that's just um, Chewie and the Scout Troopers and the three battle droids. Those don't go for that much because... Battle droids appear in everything. Stormtroopers and scout troopers appear in everything. But I guess the ones with like main characters are more. Like the 3340 goes for a lot. Another set. That's the one with Palpatine, Maul, and Vader. That one's another one that goes for like $100. So I got one of them. One of the three. 
that I know of. I don't know if they made more of those character packs. I'm going to call them character packs because I don't know the official name. The official name just might be Han, Bulba, and Luke, but I don't know. Um, let me do this one. I don't know what's in most of these. I don't think I know it. Actually, I don't know what's in most of all of them. But I went crazy on eBay, like I said. I'm... One of my family members texted me and was like, I stopped by the house and you had like seven packages on the porch. I'm going to have to get you like a Lego therapist because you're going absolutely bonkers on Legos. Which, I don't know if I'm going to fully go back on the whole statement I said where I want to like enjoy the journey of buying Legos and try not to buy everything at once and have all the Star Wars sets within four months. But I might go back on that. If I have the opportunity and people are selling these sets cheap, used, or new, I should jump on that opportunity. There should be no reason that I should sit back and say, well, I really want this set. It's normally $150 used on eBay and someone's selling it for 20 bucks. It's 100% complete and in excellent condition. I'm just going to skip over it because I should take more time to buy these sets. If I see a good, if I see a good price, I'm going to jump on it. And this was one of them. This, I think I included in my video of of eBay, which I might cut out some of these parts and include it. I think this was used, yeah. So this was, this is the um, 6212 X-Wing, the exclusive limited edition one. I don't know, um, Wedge. Comes with Luke, Wedge, Chewie, Han, R2D, and Princess Leia. I guess they're all hard to find. I don't know quite how they, um, quite how they, I don't know quite how they're hard to find, but I don't know what other sets they appear in or if they don't appear but someone was selling this for i don't remember uh i have it in my ebay video i think it was like 56 or 62 or somewhere between like 50 and 60 and this set goes for like 120 150 new and at least 70 90 100 new or used so for 60 i couldn't pass it up in that video you'll see i just keep buying and buying and i should stop and I just realized what one of these might be. And I'm going to go with this. If this is what I think it is, I'm going to freak out. Because I bought this at the last second like an idiot in the eBay video. I was about to be done. Who is it that one? One of, them, one of these sets I bought at the last second. One of them I impulse bought because I checked the other listings. I noticed that there's like two other listings for this set. I don't know if, I don't know if it's specific. It's either this one or the next one. There's only three listings. One was from like Portugal for like $390. Another one was in the U.S. for $450. And then there was this one, which was getting bid on and was ending very soon. And I was watching it. And I want to be very, very careful opening this box because it is brand new. I don't know if this, this might be a completely different set. I'm wasting my monocle. Yeah, see, completely different set. I, sh I just wasted talking like five minutes um this is another one that i think is new that's not that old of a set as you see it is the um resistance troop transport yeah this is new this was another one i don't remember if i included it in my i think i bought this before the ebay video i made so yeah this is the 7514 uh, resistance troop transport from force awakens i kind of skipped out on the force awakens line when it came out i don't really know why uh, but this says Admiral Akbar, which is really cool. I th I think Admiral Akbar came out in some other sets. I'm trying to think if this is my first Admiral Akbar, but I don't think it is. Then some Resistance Troopers and, of course, Princess Leia. Box a little dented. Uh, don't care. Two of these boxes I know are from the same seller. This one, it's a really, it's a really long box. This could be the potential freakout set that I shouldn't have bought, but I did anyway. And if it is, they put it in the worst box possible because these postage boxes, you it's really hard to cut the boxes. And I don't want to damage what's inside. I say that, then I make it kind of look easy. Okay, this is not it. So it, it is yet to come, unless it... I don't have it in. It shouldn't be in either of these two sets. And this follows the line of the last set I just showed you. It is from The Force Awakens. Another set I did not buy when The Force Awakens came out. 2015 and 2016 were some years where I... Actually, 2014 and 2015 
are some years where I seriously regret buying. I seriously regret not buying Star Wars sets. Um, some of these, this one goes for a little bit more, but the other one I noticed is the. They did a, a couple of these pose X wings, but like the blue one from the beginning of the video, oh, the video, the movie, the blue or the purple one, whatever we would call it. I think it's blue and gray from when he lands on Jakku and gets captured by Kylo. That one goes for a ridiculous amount, and I don't know if there's a minifigure in there or something. I think it comes with... Yeah, this is from when they attack um, Starkiller. But the one, it has Lord Santeca, and I think that might be why it's so much, but I'm not sure. So this is Pose X-Wing. Um, yeah, 75102. New, again, I found, I'm finding a lot of these new, and it's weird because normally you'd kind of look for used because you know it'll be cheaper. But people are selling these... Um, now, this one wasn't bad. I don't remember this one either. This might be in the eBay video, but I'm not sure. I don't want to throw out any prices because, honestly, I don't remember. But the only set that I spent a lot of money on, you'll see. I don't think it's here yet. It's probably going to be in another video. But it's really the only one where I spent a stupid amount of money because I just shouldn't have bought it. But it was a last-second decision. All this other stuff was before shipping lower than retail. So I think this sold for 80 I want to say I got it for, like, 68 but I'm not sure. And then I have two packages from the same seller. I think I know what that last one is, and I think it follows along with these sets as Force Awakens sets. This one, I'm not too positive on. Oh, no. I just noticed a corner on the bottom of this is already open. Oh, okay. I know what this one is. Which isn't that big of a deal because it's a set that's been remade a couple times, and I own the newer version. It may be right behind me. Is it? It is. There's a set behind me that this is. Um, if you can guess which one it is before I open it. I'm trying to open it without this person. Um, I also don't want to catch the, I don't want to catch the tape on the box. It looks like the corner is a little dinged, but that's okay. <clears throat> like I said, this is a set that's been remade a couple times. You just slide it out. Yeah, okay, perfect. And I think it's new, yeah. The box is significantly damaged, but again, I paid a pretty good price for this. This is the Death Star Duel. Man, this box is cooked. Death Star Final Duel, 75093, 724 pieces. Man, this box got rocked. So, yeah, uh, obviously I have a new one right there. This is the old one. I never got it. As you can see, this is creased pretty dang well. And... Yeah, but it is new, so yeah, it's new. I guess that's my only my good point. I'm gonna move these out of frame without them falling off the table. And then I have one more. I think that's the first set I've bought with that that Stormtrooper logo on it from Rebels. Like I can't remember the last time I got a set like that. The last time I got a set like that was like when the wave of those sets was coming out, which was in I think this came out in twenty fifteen. Yeah. <clears throat> and this last one is pretty big. Um, I think it's from The Force Awakens, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully this box didn't get as destroyed as that one. But again, I didn't pay... Everything in this video I paid under retail for. Obviously plus shipping, but I don't really include shipping because... Yeah, I think it is. Should be, yeah. I don't include shipping because that's paying for it to get here, but that's not what the person is selling it for. It's just based on uh, what they want to what they want to make shipping costs. I guess, dang, both of these boxes I guess got roughed up pretty well, which sucks. I wish this person would have shipped them in a little bit better condition than just wrapping them in wrapping them in paper and hoping that that would do the job. Music. Trying to get this out of here carefully. Dang, both of these boxes got that sucks. I guess that's a little bit of a complaint I had. I wish this person would have packaged them a little bit better. Kind of just threw them in a cardboard wrap. Yeah, this one got banged up pretty good too. Wow, that sucks. I don't like that. I don't want to complain a lot, but I don't like 
Uh, this box just kind of got beat up a lot. A huge dent right here. But this is the 75105 Millennium Falcon. Uh, or the one from The Force Awakens. Another Force Awakens set that I did not get. So you get Kanja Club, Tasu Leech, Han Solo, Chewie, Finn, Ray, and a BB-8. So this box got... Um, this box got destroyed pretty well. Uh, is that all my packages? That's all my packages. So that's everything I got. Oh gosh, everything is still in camera. That's everything I got today. Um, yeah, kind of crazy. I just can't chill on eBay because. I mean, I want to take the time to buy these sets, but also if I go on eBay every day and someone is selling this stuff for cheap, I mean, some of this Millennium Falcon, I think was going for, I think it was 92 plus shipping and it's a hundred dollar set. Yeah. The box is beat up. I'll probably, I don't know if I'll ever open it. I never bought it when it came out. <clears throat> I think this is like a hundred, it's 1,300 pieces. I mean, I think this is like $150 set. So someone selling it for under $100 is amazing in itself. But yeah, I got a lot of Force, uh, three Force Awakens sets. And then some cool old stuff and some stuff from Lego. But uh, And another um, Forest Hideout. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I thought I had something to say, but I can't remember. Which is very much like me. Um... Other than hopefully by the next video, you'll know if I won or did not win the bid for the Imperial Shuttle. I don't want to pay 600 but again, when it's going for $2,000, $3,500, 600 isn't much. I mean, it's a lot because it's a $300 set when it came out and now it's 600 but that's okay. I, I just I just need to get the Imperial Shuttle out of the way. If I can win this bid, I'm gonna bid. Um, it's up to like 665 or 675 right now. If it stays within what it's doing right now, which people are only bidding like a dollar higher, it's like nine or 10 bids on it now and people keep bidding a dollar higher or $2 higher. I'm just gonna bid 800 and, so, and hopefully someone doesn't last second also bid an insane price like $1,000. I think that happened on the last one I bid. I didn't bid on the shuttle, but I was watching it because <clears throat> it was already at about, I think it was at 900 and I didn't want to pay that. And then at the last second, someone jumped the bid up to like $1,620 and won. And I was just like, I mean, if someone wants to pay $1,600 for that, good for you, man. I mean, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to jump up a bid by that much because even if I win it at 1600 that's going to jump the price I had to pay up I mean increasingly more other than if I just do it at 800 and then I pay like 702 or something or 705 uh I just want a book <clears throat> a Star Wars book and not was it Star Wars Yeah it was one that I saw before someone was selling for 1 cent and I waited till 10 seconds was left in the bid. And I think I bid $5 and someone bid like 25. And I was just like, it's like a, it's some type of a book headlamp where it has like a, it has like a, a Ray minifigure, but it's like big, like it's this big of a minifigure and it has a light in her head. So it's like a headlamp and you wrap it around your head and hit the button and you can have a, a headlamp made out of a Lego Ray minifigure with a book. It's, Part of the Star Wars books, I'm trying to get all those. There's not too many, and I have a good amount of them, but I'm trying to get the rest in that hood headlamp. It's like Star Wars headlamp book or something, book set. It comes with, like, three books based on, like, episode six, seven, and eight or something. I think it actually is six or seven and eight. I don't know. Some of the movies. But other than that, I have a lot of stuff coming still. I think I... This was... One, two. I had seven. Seven. This was seven packages. I probably have like another 15 coming. I've I've gone crazy on eBay. And with my updated quantities, I should have 400 or not 400, 392 Star Wars sets. So I'm eight sets away if I didn't include these. I kind of included, I went on my purchase history on eBay the last couple days and I checked off sets that I own on brick set, even though they haven't even been delivered yet. And what if something happens to them, but I'm just assuming they're going to get here in good condition and I can say that I own them. 
So I think I own 490, like including these, I think I've already checked them off on Brickset, even though I didn't get them yet. I'm at four or it's not four, 392. So I'm eight sets away from 400. And then, yeah, the journey continues. I'll be about halfway. Um, we're going to keep releasing sets. I don't think by the time the summer sets release, if I can get, if I could buy 40 more sets, I'd be 50% of the way. Because I think about 880 sets have been made, so 440 would be halfway. I'm going to be at about 400 in the next couple of days. So that would mean by August 1st, when these sets come out in the next month, I'd have to buy 40 Star Wars sets. Which, that's, I mean, I buy a lot, but for me to buy 40 sets, that's going to be kind of hard. If I buy all the um, the foil bags... Which, the next haul might be disappointing. It won't be a bunch of big sets. It's going to be foil bags from, like, the German and Canadian catalogs that come with, like, a little mini build of a U-Wing or the Millennium Falcon. Or It's kind of like a poly bag, except it's a little bit bigger and it's included with, like, a Lego magazine. I bought a lot of those because I checked on Brickset and there's probably at least 100 or 110 micro foil packs under the Star Wars tab as sets. I mean, it's not a set, but it's a set, if that makes any sense. That's how Brick Set categorizes it. So if I buy 40 foil packs, which they've made over 100, yes, I could get to the 440 mark, which would be kind of nice. But I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to say I'm going to stop building or buying. I'm not going to say I'm going to keep building, buying. But whatever happens, happens. And it'd be nice to get to, um, it'd be nice to, get to halfway at least before I move out, which... I guess we're fast tracking and moving a little bit quicker than we thought with selling stuff in the house and getting everything moved out. So you won't see any change here. I mean, everything is going to look the same until I record my last video in this house. And I'll probably, I don't know if I'll make it any special or anything different, but I will let you know that most likely when I record that video, hey, this is the last video in this house. This is the last time you're going to see this setup. That's not yet, but it is coming. You won't see that window anymore. This shelf which my dad built right before he passed. I'm going to try to keep... I'm going to have to take everything off. But hopefully, I don't have to take the shelf apart because it took him at least two and a half days to build that shelf and then, like, another couple hours just to drill it to the wall. It is drilled to the wall. That white is not the color of the wall. It looks a little bit different coming down. That's like a um, linoleum sheet that's stapled to the back of the shelf, and then that's um, screwed to the wall. So when we take that shelf down, we're going to have to unscrew it from the wall and then take the linoleum off after I take all the sets off. And then hopefully we can move that as one solid piece. I don't want to have to rebuild the whole shelf because I'm never going to be able to do it. Figuring all this stuff out right now, I've realized that I will never be able to do things as good as my mom and dad did. And they just had a way about themselves that I won't understand ever. Uh, I watched them for years and I still don't get it and cleaning the house and cooking and all that crap it's just like I know I'm not doing it as good as they could but that's okay and I don't want to have to take that shelf apart because my dad did it a way that it's probably just take some screws out and put them right back in but I'll probably find a way to screw that up so I'd like to possibly move that shelf as whole all these will obviously move as whole I don't know how many sh I'm gonna probably try to take all the shelves with me not like the shelves like the I know particularly about these particular shelves I could bring them to my new house but I don't know uh we're not at that point yet and that's me rambling again so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy please hit the like button please consider subscribing comment down below uh, I love the support appreciate you guys so much I know only a couple of you comment but I'm getting I'm, I'm getting considerably amount con what English I'm getting a considerably more amount of views. I mean, not like thousands, but I mean, I'm almost hitting 100 views on every video, which considering just a couple months ago, I was only getting 5 to 15 views a video. I'm up to almost 100 views on most of my videos. So I appreciate that support a lot. And maybe most of you won't see this because it looks like most of the people will only watch my videos about six minutes in and then they cut out, but... This is going to be a 30-minute video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.